Hey guys, it's Cryptomio Analysis coming at you with a new video on Suku. So, uh, I had a gentleman, Beido, I'm, I don't know if I'm saying that right, but he super chatted me and he donated and he requested a video on Suku. So, thank, first of all, thank you so much for the super chat. I really appreciate it. That is awesome. That's amazing. And thank you so much for your support. It really means a lot. So, thank you. I appreciate that. Um, I'm going to get right into charting Suku, uh, but first and foremost, I do want to look at the market cap, which is around 35 million. And as you can see, um, their circulation supply is 178 million out of 1.5 billion total supply. Um, it is on Coinbase, but it looks like there's plenty of opportunity for growth because it's not on any other major exchange. Like I'd say major exchange being crypto.com, Binance. Uh, it just doesn't look like it's on those. However, that does mean that there is room for growth and opportunity to grow. So let's get right into it. Um, let me, yeah, let's look at Suku. So it came out October 2021. And I don't have an introduction because I'm actually out. I'm in Florida right now. I'm not in my hometown, um, which I'm not going to say at this point, but um I will be back at my computer. I'm actually doing this on my laptop, so and I don't have my introduction on it. So that's why I don't I'm not having my introductions. But I do appreciate the super chat. So I'm gonna make a video because again, I don't want to keep you holding or I don't want to keep you waiting on the video. I really want to, you know, get this out to you um as soon as possible. So let's again, let's look at it. Uh October. Doesn't look like that's the right graph. No. This is the graph. August, September, October, 2020. Yes. Okay. So we're going to change this to log. And then what we're going to do is we're going to look at the RSI and the stock RSI. So as you can see, the stock, the RSI is neutral and the stock RSI is bearish. But that just means that when this comes back up, it will uh, reflect positively on the price and it will take the RSI up. Keep in mind that I always say this in every single video, but again, I want to repeat this because there aren't that, like there are new people that are constantly looking at the video. When we're in a bear market and the RSI is extremely oversold, theoretically, those are the perfect buying opportunities because it's making lower lows. As you can see, it was making lower lows, lower low, lower low. Now, the same works when you're in a bull run. You kind of know you're in a bull run when, when the RSI is extremely oversold. Uh, there's a pivot point where the RSI was extremely oversold um, and overbought here. Um, but when it's overbought, uh, it makes higher highs. So look, when it, when it, when it pivoted, when it shifted, when the sentiment changed uh, September, October of last year, RSI was extremely overbought, overbought. We made a higher high. We made a higher high, higher high and higher high. So we're in the, we're headed in the right direction, basically. Um, now, let's look at the TA. And I do want to bring that up because again, that's really important because it looks like we are in a bull market. Uh, and Suku is having a bull market. Uh, because if you take your fit from the high, I'm not going to count this wick as the high, I'm going to count actually over here, which is most exchanges, exchanges as the high, and you take your fit from the high to the low. Um, you can see that we are actually above the 382 at 14 cents. So us being above the 382, that's extremely bullish. Um, and the next target up, it looks like it is 22 cents. From 22 cents, once we break 22 cents, the next target up in area of resistance is going to be the 618 at 36 cents, followed by 69 cents and the um, and the all-time high at $1.61. Keep in mind that again, this looks uh, the uptrend is holding. So clearly, we can see that there's uh, there's an uptrend here forming, and it's making higher highs on the RSI when it's extremely overbought. And when we do sell off, it doesn't look like the sell off even exists. Really, you know, it looks very small relative to the big move up on the macro perspective. So where do I think this is going to go? Um, long term, I think that Suku is a coin that could go anywhere between. Um, the previous all time high, which was, I guess it was a dollar 66, around a dollar 66, a dollar 67, based on this graph, uh, all the way to $18 and 13 cents. Keep in mind that 
uh, $18 or, you know, $10 is going to put the market cap around 1.7 billion. Um, sorry, it's going to put it actually at 34. So times 10, um, it's $2. So $2 puts it at uh, three, no, 1.7 billion. So uh, it's really important to also keep uh, keep the market cap in play because, you know, uh, I like to say that conservatively speaking, coins can't hit $5 billion market cap, mostly because that's a lot of good coins. As long as it has good fundamentals, they usually hit that, if not higher. And that's playing very conservatively. Uh, I'll look at the market cap in a second because I want to go look on the other page um, to see what the market cap would be. So again, on the long on the longer run, uh, as long as we stay over 14 cents, the target says 22 cents, 36 cents, 69 cents. A dollar sixty one followed by anywhere between a dollar sixty one and eighteen dollars and eighteen cents, uh, thirteen cents. Uh, now, as far as areas of support go, um, areas of support and areas that people are probably going to be buying back in if they're selling off uh, on the bigger time frame is going to be as long as it stays over the uh, uh, two three six, um, it should be good. So as you can see, uh, from the low to the high, uh, it looks like nineteen. Where it looks like we're right above 19 cents. So obviously 19 cents is uh, support. Uh, 382 is support at around 13 cents, 89, 14 cents. And as you can see, uh, we did have some sort of sell-off. However, we got bought back really fast. So the next area of support that needs to hold is, is, is the 19 cents. So as long as 19 cents hold, 22 cents is next, 36 cents and so on. Uh, if this doesn't hold, then we might look at some sort of accumulation. Um, and uh, the 382 at that point needs to hold at 13 cents 89. I don't think it's going to come back down, but again, we could get something like this uh, where we consolidate, uh, print a bull flag, followed by leg up, and then we, we would still have a, a macro uptrend um, forming. So let's look at the RSI again. So, um, yeah, so 10x would be no, yeah, so that's very possible because that doesn't even put it at a uh, that doesn't even put it at a $5 billion market cap. So if the 1618 target gets hit at around $18, so it's 20 cents, 20 times 10 is $2. That'll put the market cap at 350 million. So let's just say it does another 10X. Um, that would put it at, uh, so it would be $2, $20, which is around the 1618. And that would mean that 350 million would be 3.5 billion. So yeah, that's crazy. That's actually very possible for this coin. Uh, given that again, it doesn't, it's not on Binance, it's on a crypto.com. Uh, it has a lot of volume relative to the market cap, which is important. Um, and it has a lot of good stuff going for it uh, based on that. Again, this was huge um, a consolidation zone. So it does look like, you know, it is uh, starting its bull run. Uh, that's just my thoughts and my technical analysis on Suku. Thank you so much to the gentleman who, who um, super chatted me. I hope you uh, like this video and thank you so much. And I really hope this thing goes to the moon for you and for everybody that holds Suku. Uh, thank you so much for your support. Uh, please like, subscribe, comment, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.